Welcome to a Cooler Master Hyper 212 installation guide video. These are the components that come with the cooler itself. The clips for the fans, four are included. Retention module, universal back plate, standoffs, nuts, hex wrench, thermal paste, the fan itself, and the heat sink. Now we're going to begin the installation process. For reference only, this is how the nut and the standoff work together with the back plate. That's how it will look. You get the standoff, you find the mounting hole that you would like to use, 775, 1156, 1366. For AMD, it would be the AM2 right here, 939. Simply just place this through the bracket itself. This is the universal retention plate. This would be for your Intel chips, 775. If you want to use the 1366, simply pull on the screw and push it out towards the very end and vice versa. If you want to go to 775, push it, release. For AMD, just move it like that. And this would be your AM2 socket. Now what you will need to do is mount the back plate on the back side of the motherboard use the standoff, slide it through, use the nut, just make sure it's secured tightly like so. Now we have the back plate mounted on there. What you can do is use the hex wrench just to tighten the screws a little bit more. After doing that, you can apply the thermal paste and then we can begin mounting the cooler onto the the unit itself. Just make sure you before you do so you remove the plastic sticker. Now that the thermal paste and the cooler are on the motherboard, we can begin to mount the retention piece. Just go ahead and close it up like this. Slide it through the cooler. Make sure it's centered into the center piece and then you open it up to the desired bracket. Then with the Phillips screwdriver, just simply screw in one side and then go diagonally across to the other one and repeat the process. Once you screw in all four screws, you can begin mounting the fan. This is going to be the last part because if you mount this first, you won't be able to have access to these screws right here. To secure the fan onto the heat sink, you're going to need these clips right here. Just simply clip it onto the bottom holes of the fan, like so. And then you can begin mounting it to the cooler. Now that we have one side of the fan mounted on there, we can mount the other side. And this completes the video.